It's Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. Are you in loser denial or something? Hey, don't forget you can follow this show as a podcast. On your podcast player, just search Jeff and Jeremy in the morning on KCOC and post it daily on our social media. Follow us at Jeff and Jeremy on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. It's Dumbass of the Day, and it's brought to you by Peterson Jucart. Their big summer sale going on now through the end of the month. Save 10% on walk-on bark, garden soil, compost, and topsoil. That's at uh, Peterson Jucart in Atascadero, 805-466-2840. How pathetic can some people be? Oprah's annoying, right? Isn't she? Don't text while you drive. You have to sign an Oprah te- no texting while you drive pledge to be on her show. Do you have you seen this? So you know why it's annoying? Because Oprah don't even drive. She's in the back of a limo tweeting away, <laughs> eating her chicken tenders. Right? She's got a <laughs> she's got a weight issue. I'm not saying you should text all over the place. People text while they drive on the highway. Do they text on the highway in Indiana? Do you guys have highways? Anyway, they're texting. <laughs> They're texting on the highway. I've seen this. The guy next to me, 70 miles an hour on the Garden State Parkway, texting. I'm like, look at this. Mu-. And then I hit a car. <laughs> so I think he won that round. Dumbass of the day. 93.3 KZOC. I literally pulled alongside a guy, another one. I know I mentioned this recently, watching a movie on his mount. <laughs> so like sitting there watching a the movie, driving down the freeway. <laughs> How world are we in? I'm starting to understand why it's a good idea to have these phone uh, devices that will, you know, Shut disable phone. your yeah. phone until you get to where you're going to go. I, oh God. Sitting there watching a movie. Uh, this woman wins the distracted driving uh, award of the, uh, of the decade. Boy, early on in the decade. As of yet, I'm sure somebody will come and supplant her. But she fell out of her car window onto the highway while driving while driving attempting to film a snapchat video this happened at 1 30 in the morning <laughs> oh in the God. in the uk oh the uk of course uh um, they drive on the wrong side of the road too it's not that yeah they, the the <laughs> police obviously are saying it's only by luck that she wasn't seriously injured or killed god does it say how fast she was going i don't know she was freeway driving i mean oh my god highway driving whatever she that fell is out UK. of her car driving on the freeway and she's alive yeah the uh police officers decided to put a hashtag in the uh tweet that highlighted the incident it just says no words for this she was treated by paramedics at the scene for non-life-threatening injuries. I Would mean, it be weird to say, I mean, I don't want to overstep here, but maybe she loses her license for like a decade, mm-hmm. like 10 years, seriously. Like, you were you're a dangerous person. People were pissed because... I would th- think maybe forever, but I mean, at least 10 years. People are like, hey, you know, what if somebody would have hit her and they would have to live with, lived with it for but the rest of somebody. their lives? Yeah. That would be devastating. Nobody expects to be dodging human bodies on the motorway. Especially for somebody like me who's really sensitive. <laughs> yes, you would have cried. Oh, my God, you would have cried. I this killed is a not goose. A, this is not a turkey, for God's or, sake. Or, yeah, a turkey. It was a turkey. You see, you don't even remember what kind of bird you killed. <laughs> it was a turkey. And every time I drive by that corner by Lopez now, I am slow down. People are calling for charges to be filed against her, although there's been no arrests made in the case. Okay, wait a second. So she was doing a social media, social media Snapchat. Yes. It, this is, is what I, I guess. Listen, the UK needs to clamp down on it because when the when the police were pressed, how come you guys didn't press charges on it? Said we can't just arrest people for fun. We have to have a necessity, which we did not have for this because there's nothing on the books about somebody falling out of their car window while driving the car and just filming a Snapchat. <laughs> We'll put it on the books, okay? Yeah, but I mean, just distracted driving, number one, like first degree. I don't know. Damn. She didn't, uh, wait a second. I mean, there's so much information here that we need to have. I don't know if you have it in front of you in the story, but what happened to her car? Did her car crash? Ghost ride the Did whip. It, huh? Ghost ride the whip. Doesn't say what happened to her car, huh? I mean, you think you're driving down the highway, you file to your car. I guess it's going to slow down. <laughs> it doesn't say this. Um, the CNN uh, pointed to a study saying that roughly 259 people lost their lives worldwide between 2011 and 2017, snapping selfies while driving. 
Darwinism at its best. India, Russia, the United States, and Pakistan lead the way. I always, you know, seventy-two people... percent of them were men under thirty. No, <laughs> men, come on, men, stop with the selfie. Okay? Under thirty, yeah, because there is something with well, men I've under always... thirty that have an issue of like their self-image, and they want every. Oh, look at me! Look at me! Look how cool I am! This is what I don't understand. Have you ever seen like uh, I? I think the majority of people's profile pictures, they're sitting behind the wheel of their car, and then they snap a picture. And it's like, what, like, are you choosing this car yeah. because yeah. the I had to make sure that ours, ours are still the American flag. <laughs> Before that, I think it was a picture of a, of another flag on Fourth of July. Yeah, we never. Yeah, I've never taken a selfie while driving, so I'm fine. Okay, or I've never taken a selfie in my car. Why does everybody take the selfie for their profile picture in their car? Is I don't it know. To show that they have a car, or is it to? Is it the lighting? Is the lighting good in your? I car? think because you're in your car. I mean, a lot of times if I'm waiting for my wife in the in the store, you just take a picture of yourself. Yeah, I'll just be sitting there. I'll start taking selfies. No, <laughs> I, I get on. That's when I get on my phone and look at Facebook or read sports stuff scores. I don't know. I mean, that's when I'm on my phone the most, or on my couch. <laughs> She just, fell out of the window, she and just, she's still alive. Yeah, I, I, and, the, and the police say, you know, maybe the time of day maybe helped her out on this one because it was real early in the morning. <laughs> it's, what an idiot! I, God, I want to know what, what she was doing this uh, Snapchat video selfie for. But yeah, I don't what know. Could have been so. It was one thirty in the morning, so I she mean, wasn't drunk. I don't know. That's the thing. It's just like she got to be drunk if she's doing that, right? You said they didn't arrest her with anything. They didn't arrest her with anything. Yeah. So she. They said no necessity for arrest. We just can't arrest people for fun. I mean, granted. For fun. <laughs> How about I'm for sure endangering she, the lives of everyone else on the I'm road? I'm sure, though, that she's learned her lesson yeah. not to take a, not to take a selfie uh, while hanging out the window of the car. Does it mean driving. if I say I hope she has a big scar on her face? So the rest of her life, she has to go around and people are like, oh, what happened there? Oh, uh, I was taking a Snapchat, selfie you know. while driving 60 down the highway. Snapchat. Fell out of my car. She'll probably try to sue Snapchat next. It's their fault. They didn't put it in the disclaimer that you shouldn't do this while driving. I worry for this world. I mean, really. Yeah, well, you should worry. You know, maybe TikTok being banned is necessarily not a bad thing. (laughs) Well, at least this happened in the UK and not anywhere close to where you live, even though... I'm sure it could. She's unnamed in this one. I think she must be somebody very important because for her to go unnamed in the report <laughs> and not get cited. <laughs> You're Jeff and Jeremy's. Dumbass of the day. 93.3 KZOC. Don't be a dummy when it comes to your landscape supplies. Go to Peterson Ucard on Gusta Road, just north of Quickie Car Wash in Atascadero. We love Ucard, you say. Jeff and Jeremy here online at KZOZ.com. Did you get results from yesterday's poll question? Oh, my God. Yeah, it was 75-25 it was when, it was okay. all, when it was all said and done. Are you talking about the one with the Republicans and the Yeah, we were asking you if, if you, t- if you uh, talk to a Republican or Democrat and you have the opposite of view of them, who tends to be a little bit more sore about it or mean, I think is what you wrote. Meaner. God, you can tell you have young kids. Nobody uses, no adults use the word meaner. Are you meaner? What are you going to say? Ray Donovan. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say that. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Maybe I should say it like Ari from Entourage. <laughs> Stop. Okay, I have a complex for movies. Okay, I like a certain kind of thing. But the, the TV shows you watch reek of. of cool. It's entertainment. Everybody's reek, into these they shows. Reek of cool. Water. These are the most popular shows. Cool water. <laughs> I, do. <laughs> I really liked Cool Water. I wish I could. I wonder if I could still buy that. That was a great cologne when I was in like. Visit the set of Ray High Donovan. School <laughs> or college. I can't remember. When, I think it was college when I wore Cool Water. But, anyways, poll question. Um, God, you got me so frustrated. I forgot where we were at here talking about Democrats and Republicans. Because I think. Oh, I, and the word meaner. And I was just, well, who, who can, you know, be more offended? They're soft. Uh, who feels like they get, uh, is more sensitive about it and can't handle that you have a difference in opinion? I think, I think we could all agree, right? Meaner cuts to the chase. The people nowadays. <laughs> I don't have to be as wordy with meaner. A lot of people. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> I mean, if a three year old understands it, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> Who's meaner out of these two groups of people? <laughs> You're meaner. My, You're meanie. My, I was, uh, I was reading my phone. My, my son was watching some cartoon the other day. He's three, by the way. Yeah, about four, right? Um, yeah, and they started singing a song of the cartoon. And I started tapping my leg along to the song in the cartoon, and he puts his hand on my on my hand, and he stops it. And he goes, "Hey, that's the bad guy." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, sorry, I can't root for him. I can't like the song. I thought he would say, who sings that song? Yeah, Why don't you let them sing it? Don't support their actions. They're the bad guys. I thought that was pretty funny. But, uh, yeah, and so 75% of people that voted in this online KZOZ.com poll brought to you by SurfNet Communications said that they felt that Democrats were the meaner ones. They were the ones that were a little bit more sore if you didn't agree with them and would lash out at you. We had a lot of people asking what the results were because there's a new poll question up now, and um, we're going to discuss that. And it has to do with uh, something that Jeremy does, something my son does, something I do. I do do. I did a lot more when I was a kid, and I, I got a complex from it. I think a lot of people do so this. So I, st- I, I stymie I think more it. people do this than don't do this. I caught my wife doing this the it's other day. It's super embarrassing when you get caught doing it. We'll, no, it's not. We'll tell you what it is. It's... It's not like Hugh Grant going to get a prostitute. Uh, <laughs> embarrassing, but it's somewhat embarrassing. Wake up. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. All right. The uh, poll question today is do you talk here? Um, I catch Jeremy doing this all the time. He talks to himself. I've been talking to myself since I was a little kid. To the point I mean, where now it doesn't even surprise me. People say, well, it's fine to talk to yourself unless you answer yourself. Sometimes I answer myself. Yeah, he does. He works usually, out the scenario. Planners, I feel like planners. But I think do this. you could say this when I. It's when I'm. I'm. I'm when I'm planning something. When I'm. Uh, when I'm working through a problem. When I'm. Uh, I don't just talk to myself randomly. It's usually when I'm thinking something through. I'm just thinking out loud. As my mom said, "No, he's fine. He's just thinking out loud." Love my mom. My wife asked me the other day. She's like, "You don't think our son's got." problem with you <laughs> your wife never thinks out loud um not that i not that i know of which is weird because she's a planner to the extreme i think but when you I, have a lot of things going on in your head and you're doing multiple things at once this is where this kind of comes in it's to help keep you focused or at least i think that's why i do it so you, if you vocalize it then it'll bring you back into focus well, because you're you think things out in your head right and you can hear that voice mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just it's just it's just taking you to the next step. I'm done. I'm to- totally off of of thinking out. Like I used to think, you know, come up with a plan, and 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 that plan was to get you know get it to go to this point. It never gets to that point ever. When you plan something else, it never gets the desired uh, results that you want from it. So. You could beat yourself up over the failure of not getting to that desired point. So I'm just done with it. Just like, okay, we'll see where this goes. We'll see where this goes. And what I've noticed that since I've adopted that philosophy and like, let's just see where it goes. I don't talk to myself as much as I used to. Oh, so you did used to talk to yourself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All the time. Because you're thinking things out. My grandma got in a fight with her neighbor because her neighbor suggested that I go get help. Um, they were really good friends. And Claire said to... This is so not fair because you were only child. You had no brothers or right, no exactly. siblings to talk to. So you and had to the, talk to And yourself. that was my grandma's defense. Uh, Claire came up to my grandma and said, um, hey, uh, I noticed uh, Jeff was riding around the uh, cul-de-sac and he was talking to himself the other day. And she's like, yeah. <laughs> she's like, do you think you should get him checked out? And they, they stopped talking. I mean, they... She said, how dare you? She's a, you know, he's a kid, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, he's playing by himself. He's just entertaining himself. I used himself. to go over to Claire's house and get candy, and then all of a sudden I was told, hey, you can't go over to Claire's house and get candy anymore. She's going to commit like, why? you. I was like, why? She's <laughs> like, because we don't get along with her anymore. She'll put you in the trunk and take you down to the mental center. Yeah. My son does this. He the talk, mental ward. He talks to himself. But I, I feel like he's reenacting, like, I don't know, scenes from cartoons or, or singing a song or something along those lines. He's not really having that deep in thought. Uh, have you thought about stopping and say hey what are you talking about over there he gets embarrassed yeah he gets super embarrassed even nothing at, even at three don't worry about it <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm convinced tell you this is a little this is kind of similar but different i'm convinced my wife lies to me on a regular basis because 
like for example, the other morning we we're Sunday we we're out for breakfast. You learn from the best, and we're sitting on the patio because that's what you do. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> and she's looking across the street. She's totally zoned out, right? And I'm just looking at her. I'm drinking my coffee. I'm just looking at her, going, God, I wonder what she's thinking right now. And I ask her this all the time, like, Hey, what are you thinking about? Oh, nothing. I go, That's impossible. Everybody thinks about something all the time. No, I literally, literally, I wasn't thinking about anything. I was just staring off. I could think about nothing. I'm like, even when I'm staring off, I'm thinking. That's what I'm doing. Is my brain that active that I'm? Is, is it really? Is that a weird thing that I can? I'm never not thinking about. For something. somebody who reads as little as you do, it is. It is very odd. <laughs> I read every day. What are you talking about? No, you read the internet every day. <laughs> what I have to pick up a book now, a novel. No, but seriously, I mean, I'm constantly... As I, much I can't as you like shut it off. 20 show, 40 show, 60 show TV series, yeah, you should read more books. I can't shut my mind off, and people can actually do this, huh? Yeah, I do it all the time. Literally, like, you'll find yourself, like, you, all of a sudden you come back, you're like, whoa, what just happened? Right now, in this Almost conversation, like- <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> Our new poll question is, do you talk to yourself? <laughs> Oh, gr- here, here's the here's the options, by the way, because there's, there's there's a little gray area right. here. Um, yes, even out loud. Uh, yes, but only in my head. Or no, at least I don't think so. Those are your three options. Uh, if you say no, I don't think so, then you got to get your brain checked. I mean, Why? what's wrong with you? I mean, I don't. You either know, know you do or you don't. I mean, there are times when and I have be com- honest because it's an, it's anonymous. I mean, there are knows. times I'd have to say yes, but only in my head because there are times that I'll have conversations in my head. Everybody with has conversations in their head, right? I'm starting to feel less normal. I guess we'll have to see what the poll question says. 